Finding the probability of independent events. So independent events are events that have no bearing on each other. Okay, if something happens over here, something happens over there, as long as they're not affecting each other, they're called independent events. And basically what we do is in order to find the probability of two events occurring independently, we take the probability of one and multiply it by the probability of the other. So probability of two things happening independently is just the probability of one times the probability of the other. Okay? One classic example for independent probability is basically pulling balls, marbles, anything out of a bag. Okay? And so what we're looking at in this case is we have two bags containing marbles. Bag A has seven green and six black. Bag B has eight yellow and four red. If we pick one marble from each bag, probability that we choose a green and a red. Okay, so choosing a marble out of bag A and then choosing a marble out of bag B are completely independent. It doesn't matter what happens out, out of the first bag, the results from the second bag are independent from that. Okay, so what we can do then is just find the probability of picking a green times the probability of a red. And I should back up a second and just point out that no colors are duplicated, so therefore it's not like we have to worry about having the green from A or B. There's really no overlap potential. Okay? Bag A has green and black, bag B has yellow and red. There's no overlap going on. Okay, so probability of choosing a green. The only greens we have are in bag A, so we just need to find the probability of taking a green out of bag A. There are seven green and six black, so that tells me there are seven green and 13 total. So the probability is just going to be 7 out of 13. The probability of choosing a red. The only reds occur in that second bag. So then we have a 4 red out of 12 total chance of picking a red. And then we simply multiply these together. 4 out of 12 can be simplified to 1 third. And then we multiply across and end up with 7 out of 39. Okay, so as long as you have independent events, events that have no bearing on each other, all you have to do is multiply the probabilities together in order to find the probability of them both occurring.